Hello again. When the average person in Europe or America talks of black Africans, they tend to visualise a person typical of those found in Nigeria and other parts of West Africa, with very dark skin and distinctive facial features. The reason for this is that although 10,000 years ago most of Africa was inhabited by lighter-skinned people with epicanthic eye folds, the ancestors of the Khoisan, together with the pygmies of Central Africa, those from West Africa invaded and colonised the rest of the continent roughly 4,000 years ago. As they did so, they spread their genes across Africa by mating with those whom they encountered, as well as massacring them. And what genes these were! Tens of thousands of years after the emergence of modern humans, who had spread into Europe and Asia, mating with Neanderthals and Denisovans whom they found there, those who remained in Africa were mating with another human species, one which was, unlike the Neanderthals, exceedingly primitive and backwards. In 1965, an ancient skull was found in Nigeria, which was a puzzling combination of modern human features and more primitive traits. The Iwo Eluru skull seemed to look like a cross between modern human skull and a very early type of hominid called Homo erectus. This species lasted for a couple of million years without making any progress at all, using the same tools for the whole of that time without developing them further, in sharp contrast, of course, to the Neanderthals in modern humans, who were always coming up with new ideas. We know that in the rest of the world outside Africa, all humans now have between 1 and 4% of their DNA from either Neanderthals or Denisovans or a combination of the two, and that some of the genes that we have inherited from the Neanderthals are very useful, relating to things such as brain function. Other uh, genes are not so useful to do with things like addiction and allergies. In Africa, the case is quite different. Africans, black Africans, have inherited between 2 and 19% of their DNA from earlier and more primitive humans, most likely Homo erectus, although we can't be sure because we don't have a complete um, genome of Homo erectus. We know all this partly through genetics and partly through such things as the Iwa Eluru skull. This means that black Africans are different from all other humans in the rest of the world. Genetically different, that is. What the effect of this differing genetic heritage is, we do not yet know. The black people in Britain and America came chiefly from that same part of West Africa where the Iwo Eluru skull was found. All the Caribbeans in Britain and the descendants of slaves in the United States are from that part of Africa, the uh, part around the West African coast. To sum up, the white people in Britain and America have a few percent of Neanderthal DNA which has had a profound effect on them, but the black people in those countries have a percentage of DNA from an archaic species. This is a fundamental difference between black people and white. It may be a trivial and unimportant difference. On the other hand, it might perhaps have more significance than we know yet. We don't know any of this for sure, but that this is how things are genetically is completely beyond dispute.